Today we're going to be showing how to replace an aerator. This is a very common problem that we have uh, throughout the houses that really is very simple to fix and you can do it yourself. Uh, as you can see, something where the aerators are bad, this stream start happening on the side or the downstream is all over the place and you end up with water all over your sink and your cabinets. So today what I'm going to do is show you how to replace an aerator. You're going to use a a uh, pair of channel locks or a non teated uh, pliers. But if you don't, being that you're a homeowner, just use a regular uh, channel lock or pliers. And so you don't damage your aerator. Just basically just pay, put light pressure on it and just turn to the side and just kind of unscrew and that will avoid any damage into it if you're just going to go ahead and clean it. Basically what you need to do is just open slightly, brush off any debris that you have. As you saw we have a little bit of lime scale and just turn it off. At that point make sure that your gasket that is in here you don't lose it. Most of the time it's going to remain stuck in there, but if, if it doesn't and it comes out, make sure that you put it back on. You basically screw it back up as tight as you can with your hand. And all you're going to do, if you don't have a non teated pliers, just use a rag, grab it, and just do a little turn to the side. You don't have to squeeze that really hard, just a barely turn will do, quarter turn. Now, voila. You open up and everything goes back to normal. Once again, I hope that you find this tip helpful and you be following us on our uh, Facebook and subscribe to our channel and YouTube. Thank you for your time.